you might want to tune in because you're going to get a kick out of this video. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mythical here again. Just want to do a really quick video on how to easily and transparently tune your kick and snare using Melodyne. Yes, Melodyne. So let's face it, a lot of us producers are using Splice and other services like that where we can go and download loops, beats, synth, synth vocals, whatever. And we can't really be guaranteed what key that they're in, even though they may say that they're in a particular key. So it's really important that we take the extra step and make sure that they are truly in the key that they were labeled as because we don't want to have any weird disharmonic um, imbalances in our final mixes. It just makes things sound a lot less than professional. So in front of me, I just whipped up this little beat and Reese bass piano thing. Um, and the, the kick, the snare, and the toppers are from different packs. And I don't know what key they're in, but let's just play it unprocessed and see what it sounds like. Okay, here we go. For the record, the key of this little beat is in A minor, and we're going to reflect that with the kick and snare. Okay. Melodyne. Okay, so on the kick channel, we are going to activate Melodyne. So, Melodyne, you basically have to print the audio into the program. So, by doing that, you have to hit transfer. And once you hit play, the audio is transferred into Melodyne itself, and you can make all of the edits within this particular window. Okay, here we go. Okay. Well, so that's interesting. It appears that the pitch of our kick is actually in F sharp. F sharp is not in A natural minor. So I have a couple of options. I could drag it down to F or I could drag it up to A, which is our root note. And I'm going to do A. So I'm going to activate my pitch tool and I'm just going to turn this off in case there's any weird loud noises. I'm going to drag my kick pitches up to A, activate that, and let's listen to this real quick. It's subtle, but it's there. without with okay so let's say that we're not really satisfied with the pattern of the beat uh, well we can actually delete any transient that we want and rearrange things to our desire. So let's say that we don't want the kick on this one here. Let's say we don't want that one and we don't want that one. And let's just repeat the process here. Cool. Well, now we are guaranteed that our kick is in the appropriate key that what we want. So let's do the same thing with the snare. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce this in place. That way we're satisfied and we don't have to 
hog up any CPU with Melodyne activated because it's not going to be used anymore, at least on this particular kick sample. So what I'll do is hit Control on my keyboard and B, and this window will come up. We need to leave bypass effect plugins unchecked. Normalize off, that's completely fine. Now I'll hit OK and it'll bounce in place. And now you can see when I zoom in the changes that we made are right here. So you know what? Let's go ahead and just delete that old kick. And this is the new kick that we're working with. And let's go to the snare and repeat the process. We'll go down to our audio units, Celimony, Melodyne. Okay. We'll hit our transfer button and let's play. Let's just highlight these. I hit play. Too late. Okay. So let's see what we got here. So all of our transients are on C. So that's good. That's the third degree up from A. That's what I want. That's where I want my snare pitch at. So again, let's say we're satisfied. Control B, repeat the process. We can delete the original. And now we're working with something cool here. Okay, now we're guaranteed the kick and the snare, at the very least, are in the appropriate pitch. So I really hope that this video helped you and you can get something out of it. When I learned it, it really was revolutionary because before I had a lot of problems with uh, things being weird, disharmonic sounding and a little bit off, but now I can rest assured and be confident that my mix on the drum side is completely in key. So yeah, hit that like button if you like the video, hit the dislike if you don't, otherwise I will see you next time.